Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. Problem two dash three. The statement is that rigid beam is supported by pin at A. So you can see this is a rigid beam that is supported by pin at A and wire B, C and C, D. So this is B, D and this is wire C, E. If load P on the beam causes the end C to be displayed by 10 centimeter downward, 10 millimeter downward. So due to this force, the C moves 10 millimeter downward. Determine the normal strain developed in wire C, E and B, D. So what we have to find is we have to find strain BD and the second one is strain EC. So let's start with the solution. You can see it is given that due to this load P the C and moves downward 10 millimeter downward. So for that I will draw the free body diagram. So let this is the beam clear and this is point C due to this load uh, due to the load P this end moves 10 millimeter downward so this moves 10 millimeter downward let this length is change in length is L delta L C E is equal to 10 millimeter clear so the beam will act like this there the total length of the beam is 3 plus 4 7 let this is point B and this is point A so distance between point A and B is equal to 3 meter and distance between point B and C is equal to 4 meter also due to the deflection of this point C to this new point clear this point B will also deflect and let this length will be equal to delta L B D and that is not known there so from here you can see that we have two similar triangles one is A B let this point is D uh, this point is X and let this point is Y. So we have two similar triangle, triangle A, C, Y and A, B, X. So from similar triangles, from similar triangles, similar right angle triangles, we can take that the ratio of this delta L, B, D divided by 3 delta L B D divided by 3 will be same as ratio of delta L C E divided by 7 the whole triangle 7 delta L C E divided by 4 I will repeat we have two similar triangle A C Y and another one is B A B X so the ratio of this delta L B D over 3 will be same as the ratio of delta L C E divided by 7. Clear? So from here you can get delta L B D. So delta L B D will be equal to 3 by 4 delta L C E and also delta L C E is given as 10 millimeter. So it will be 30 divided by 4 which is equal, no, not 4 this is 7 this is 7 because we have taken the whole length clear 7 so 30 divided by 7 you have to be very careful so this will give you 4.286 millimeter it means that this point B or the strain in wire BD will be uh, change in length of wire BD will be 4.286. Now we will find the strain in 
CE which is equal to change in length of CE divided by original length clear so change in length of CE is 10 and change uh, and this wire CE is 4 meter 4 meter so this is 10 millimeter and this is 4 meter which is equal to 4000 millimeter so 10 divided by 4000 will give you 0 0.00250 so strain in CE is equal to 0 0.00250 now strain in BD will be equal to change in length of BD divided by original length. So change in length of BD was calculated 4.286 millimeter divided by original length and original length is again 4000 millimeter they are same length clear so 4000 millimeter. So if you calculate it, it will give you 0 0.00107. So it means that strain in BD is equal to 0 0.00107. So these are the answers of our problem 2-3. I hope you have now a clear understanding about this problem. Thank you for watching.